So I've decided I'm going to paint the bottom there black and I'm going to spray paint this with uh, Scrap Motor Master Scratch Filler. Fills in prime scratches. Cap color matches contents. What color was the contents? Rusty Brown. <laughs> Red Scratch Fill Primer. Red Scratch Fill Primer. Anyways, it was supposed to be just primer. I don't know how the hell I got this stuff, but anyways, that's what I'm going to spray it with. As soon as I finish shaking it up, I think it should stick to it. Hopefully it won't just eat it. <laughs> Always do this outside. Man, I made the mistake one time. Here's story time. <laughs> the wife was gone, okay? It's cold outside, eh? It's like 30 below, eh? It's winter time, eh? I'm making a piece of train and I, uh, or no, I was doing some miniatures. <laughs> That's what I was doing. Anyways, I wanted to prime them. I wanted to spray paint some black primer, eh? So, I, I mean, I've got a little uh, paint box that I made up, eh? But, of course, I'm in the bathroom, eh? So, <laughs> you can't really ventilate it anywhere, eh? So, I thought it was, okay, well, you know, I put, you know, paint newspaper all over the place. And, I, and, and really, it was just, I mean, like, about that much, eh? You know, what is that? Like, second, two seconds, Okay, so, all right, shh, maybe one more of those. <laughs> okay. uh, so, I, I clean up the newspapers and stuff, and I notice, oh, geez, what's that on the wall? It looks like a, just a, you know, I give it a wipe, and everything in the whole friggin' bathroom was coated with a fine mist of black, eh? I had a, <laughs> I had to scrub the shit out of the bathroom. It took me about four hours, eh? Never used this shit inside. Uh, yeah. Anyways, there was a story time for you. <laughs> hey! So, just before the news starts here, I want to show you this with a little bit of, uh, of that paint on it. This is just primer. Okay? So, you can see it's kind of turning into a cool industrial type scene. I, uh, forgot to put a ladder up there. And still might. I don't know what I'm going to do there yet. Anyways, I wanted to show you this too. Take one of this. This came out of uh, one of those liquid soap type dispenser type thingies, eh? And then I just softened it up a little bit with the heat gun and then blew out a hole from the inside. You know, I used a little bit of knife cut. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of hard to see. Okay, so that in a scene like that, that'd be a nice, nice tank. Uh, for a valve on this machine there. I don't know if you can see that. I used just a little bit of green stuff and then the, the sparker off an old Bic lighter. Same thing with all the piping on top, that all came out of a Bic lighter. Slice them, you know, so it's like it's blown up. I don't know, I was thinking I should heat it up and try melting this down a little bit too, but anyways, this is what Eh, for a freebie, that's okay. And then uh, the piping, well, you can see that's uh, actually a little bit of a shower curtain and then some of uh, the wires that come off of the chain link fence, actually, because it's nice aluminum soft, big big steel that you can bend around, eh? And what else is sticking there? Toothpick. This, you can see the, the uh, maybe you can't, I can't tell from here. Anyways, the steel grating inside there. Okay, so what I did was I painted it, uh, spray painted it with brown, you know, and then I glued it down on some black paint and glue mixed together. That way I don't have to paint underneath it. And then, you know, as I'm gooping the rest of it, shit's going to fall down on there anyways. This is going to be, see, this is that plasticky stuff that I was talking about, okay? Fold it in half, so you got double thing. I cut a slot in the top here, so I'll be able to stick this down through the slot, right? And then, well, here, I'll just show you with one right? See. And then that'll give me a wind, window effect in here, and then I'll just poke some holes through it through, I don't know yet. Anyways, it's supposed to be safety glass, so it's supposed to survive anyways. And then the rest of this, you know, just glue on some chunks, and then we'll, you know, uh, put the sculpt mold on it. Like, you know, like we did on this one here, you know, and then... You know, paint, paint it with a, you know, that rust primer, hey, well, that's what they do with the real stuff, hey, so and then we'll add, you know, bits of oil and stuff like that on it, but, I mean, for a spray, that, that's what the real stuff's painted with, might as well do it real. Okay, what else?
ねえねえねえねえねえねえ Went to the thrift store today and found some cool stuff. The only paid a buck for it. Anyways, the reason why I bought it was it was uh, girders. Hey, there was a plastic bag of toys. Hey, ninety nine cents. It had all these cool girders. In it. Man, those are, I can use those for something for sure. And then this stuff was in there. You can see it's kind of a brick effect. I'm gonna press that into plaster scene and use that for casting. That's kind of cool. So you'll have I'll just uh. Scrape this with some uh, sandpaper and give it some wood grain type effect. And then when I press that into sandpaper, that'll look like, you know, wood girder or something. I don't know over. Anyways, that's kind of cool. Got two of those. A couple pieces of road, plastic road. Cut those up and use them for something. That's always cool. There's a chunk of aluminum stock in there. I can sharpen that and use it for punching square holes in your phone, eh? And some plastic pipe. Use that for painted black. This is kind of cool too. A toy. Hey, it's, I don't know. And once it's all painted and gooped and built into your piece, hey, that'll be cool. I mean, you're allowed to raid shit like this. This is cool. These are neat. A little steel railings, banister type railings. Be nice to have a whole whack of stuff like this that you can just, you know, shh. Anyway. More type brick patterns. I keep that. I always take the little screws and all the springs and shit out of these things, eh? Hey? You know, if you're only paying the buck for it, yeah, take all the parts apart and use those. So, I mean, like this piece itself will even look like a cool, uh, you know, painted silver in that. In this space scene, that's that's kind of cool. Might have to grind the arrow off it, maybe not. You know. Anyways, for a buck, what the hell? 